Welcome to the future of healthcare. I'm Kristen Neidlinger, and this is Sensory Therapeutic Biomedia. Therapeutic biomedia are biosensors that monitor the body systems and translate that data into visual and tactile displays. This provides instant biofeedback, but also acts as a teledisplay to communicate to other people how you're feeling. We call this extimacy, externalized intimacy, showing how you feel on the inside to the external world. This exists between fashion, healthcare, and gaming. We create emotionally durable products that are motivating and therapeutic. Good for you. This is based in the, in the theory of sensory substitution and synesthesia, which is cross-sensing. So like being able to see your emotions with color or feel movement with sound. We work with a multitude of sensors and we translate the data to visual, tactile, or audio displays. And here we have the mood sweater design. This was originally developed for people with sensory processing disorder. That's a condition from ADHD to autism. And it gives people who have a hard time communicating a voice through color. We now have interests with Alzheimer's communities, circus artists, <laughs> pediatricians, and um, elder care. Future applications exist at space travel, being able to communicate to other people in your Mars colony with our teledisplay, or with artificial intelligence. With machine learning, these designs can respond to you. So if we're working with um, post-traumatic stress people, the designs can respond to um, be kind of like a Pavlov for sadness. So when you dip down, we have a haptic display, like an inflatable that hugs you to calm your nervous system. So how it works is we have the sensors on the hands. I'm wearing one also. And the palette of colors is displayed here. We go from blue calm, which is then relaxed state, up to pink, which is ruffled excited, and red is nervous and love, and then up to warm white for ecstatic. The bowl-shaped collar is designed to reflect back upon the wearer to give instant biofeedback, how you're feeling, but also act as the teledisplay the external blush to communicate to your caregiver or your friends. He's looking rather calm right now. <laughs> oh, now a little ruffled excited. <laughs> Thank you.
Nice. Thank you, Mood Sweater. Um, this is the Neurotique. It's a 3D printed, knitted, brain animating fashion. So we worked with a, a mode of Epoch, which has 14 sensors that read your brain, and then we translated that da data into a, a palette of colors again. Um, so the colors show your brain state um, from red, delta, which is sleeping, which she's not sleeping. <laughs> um, to meditating, which is orange. Um, but it's very interesting to visualize because I was assuming when people would meditate, the whole brain might turn orange, but the brain is so active, there's always activity. And we're very excited to make this into an experience, too. We opened a neurotic spa where three people could try this, and we had a brain yoga like class to stimulate your mind and then calm your body and leave in the flow state. If you ever wondered what she was thinking, now you know. <laughs> we also logged the data here. So for the class, we showed the predominant brain states for the two-minute sections. And we learned that every brain is unique, just like humans. Thank you very much. And now we'll leave with... Um, With some of the most recent work, um, I'm very excited by the feeling of awe that gives you goosebumps. And there are um, health studies that say that people who have the most awe are actually the healthiest. So how do we give people more awe? <laughs> we make biometric inflatables. <laughs> um, so we're using a series of biosensors with this latest work um, to monitor that feeling of excitement, wonder, and fear. And then to amplify it so other people can see this, maybe it's contagious. And amplifying on your body makes it more fun. And from there, we're working on passing this feeling with that idea of, that gave me goosebumps. Did you feel it too? So now we have a way to monitor one person's goosebumps and then send it remotely. And so the other person feels it with the sound fabric we just created that has the frequency of goosebumps. I'm very excited about it. Um, so that's the future of sensory. And thank you very much, and enjoy your evening.